ConocoPhillips is a petroleum-based company that deals with uh, extracting oil from the ground and refining, refining it and putting it into uh, automobiles and, and whatever is, is, uh, is creating the situation that is causing global warming right now. It's a huge multi-faceted uh, corporation that has headquarters in Houston, it has headquarters in Anchorage, it has headquarters in uh, Ponca City, Oklahoma. It has uh, interests in the tar sands in uh, Canada. It has interests in uh, South America. But what it is trying to do is to go into uh, the pristine areas offshore drilling. It's trying to go into uh, the uh, Alaska area and to the wilderness up there. And all of these things are tied to other oil companies. They have many small subsidiaries and they have many uh, areas where they are trying to pretend to be your best friend. They're underneath Oklahoma right now, over 67% uh, of the pipelines that run through all over uh, North America come through Oklahoma right now and that grid itself is a very dangerous grid to have uh, running underneath you. It's, it's full of uh, uh, petroleum products in one form or another. The tank batteries that uh, sit on Ponca land, or previously Ponca land that ConocoPhillips has bought, leak 2% uh, each and every one per month. And that runs into the groundwater and it runs into the earth and it runs into the Arkansas and Salt Fork River. They have virtually no responsibility for, for cleaning up the earth after they've been there. ConocoPhillips by buying all of the uh, various drilling sites in Oklahoma have also caused uh, salt water to be injected into the earth where they remove the oil they inject salt water into the earth so that too affects the the water table so places that you try to drill wells there for instance the the water is poisoned there it is salt water or it's petroleum based water so you're unable to drink it. And if people would pay attention to such things, where ConocoPhillips is trying to go into the Alaskan wilderness, if they were able to drill there, it would take them seven years to be able to extract something from there that would be used up in three months' time by, by North American uh, greed and, and the way that we use our resources. So everything that, that's being done is simply to... Uh, if one can imagine the pyramid of wealth that is happening under the present uh, oil-based economy, then one can see that ConocoPhillips is one of the top ones up here, one of the top dogs. Their executives and the people underneath them are making huge sums of money. So as long as they can encourage the economy to look towards an oil base, a petroleum based economy, then those guys stay real rich. The rest of the trickle down that happens is all part of a PR system that make, that encourages this multi corporation to get richer and to be able to help its buddies to get richer because what they open up other people buy into. Their their pipelines, uh their drilling prospects, their uh financing which is which is unbelievable all over the globe will open up for other people what they what uh, will continue to kill us the, the, this economy has to understand that the petroleum based uh, world that it is created has a finite amount of time once that happens once the global warming is is to such a, a terrible place that we cannot recover, which the tipping point can and will happen by 2010 to 2012, then what's going to happen? It's time for us to look at uh, our Father, the Son for solar energy and all of those renewable sources.